This is Junk Dump, and today we're going to measure some valves and then use those measurements to calculate our valve guide measurements. For today, I'm going to be doing these measurements on an Oldsmobile small block cylinder head, but you can use the same technique on other engines as well. Just a few simple tools. I'm going to be using a protractor angle finder and my dial caliper. First up, I'm going to check the intake valve head diameter. And that valve is going to measure in at 1.993 inches. And that's pretty common for your, uh, what they call a two inch intake valve. You'll find they're 1992, 1993, 1995, 6, somewhere in that range typically. And now it's time for the same measurement on our exhaust valve. And again, that's a pretty common measurement you'll find for what's listed as a 1.625 valve. Now measuring the intake valve stem, I'm gonna make three measurements down the stem. The intake valve stem measures out at 0.3415 inches. And now the same measurement with the exhaust valve stem. The exhaust valve stem measurement comes to 0.341 inches. And now I'm going to show you a quick way to get a general idea of the intake valve or exhaust valve face angle. You can see that it's not a 30 degree angle. You'll sometimes find 30 to 31 degrees. And this exhaust valve is a 45 degree angle. And I'll check the intake valve and that one is also a 45 degree face angle. And you'll sometimes find 44 and 45 degree face angles cut into intake valves. Some Oldsmobile intake and exhaust valves were cut at 30 or 31 degrees and 44 and 45 degrees, so you always want to check. Now I need to measure the valve guides in order to calculate my guide clearance. The tool I'm using here is called the small hole gauge, and as you tighten the screw on the end of it, it pulls a plunger through the metal tip and expands it. You want to insert the gauge into the hole you're measuring and then adjust for a slight drag as you're moving it up and down. Then you'll want to check the bottom and top of the guide to make sure that it's consistent. And here I'm checking the consistency at the top and bottom of the guide. Now I take my dial caliper and I measure the gauge. This guide measures 0.343 inches. And now I'm going to perform that same measurement on all the guides. And the next guide I measured was 0.343 inches again.
And when I checked all the guides, they all feel the exact same. I think we're going to have a 0.343 inch guides the whole way across. Now we're going to calculate the valve guide clearance. And our guide clearance is just the valve stem diameter subtracted from the valve guide. On the exhaust side, the valve guide was measured at 0.343 inches. The valve stem at 0.341 inches, you subtract those and get 0.002 inches clearance, which is well within the specification of 0.0015 and 0.0032. For the intake side, the valve guide measured 0.343, the valve stem at 0.3415 and give us a guide clearance of 0.0015 inches within spec again of 0 0.0015, 0 0.0032 inches. Hope you enjoyed today's video on some measurements that you need to take of your valves and calculations on your guide measurements. Again, this is going to work for Oldsmobile and any other kind of engine. Thanks for watching.